Now, the last step to programming your first show in Vixen is to set up a schedule. If you're using Vixen to run your display, setting up a schedule is really easy with, from within the Vixen program. Just go to Scheduler, and then go to Shows. Shows is the first part, and then we'll go to Schedules. Down here at the bottom, we see it's enabled as well. So we'll go to Shows, and create a new show. Of course, I've got last year's Christmas, but we'll work with New Show right now. Then press Edit, and here we've got our options. We've got startup, background, sequential, and shutdown. And as you can see, as I switch the tabs, it lets you know at the bottom what these all do. For the most part, I, I stick to a show that was purely sequential, but if you have something at the start of your show or at the end of the show that you only want to run once, then so be it. Now, let us go ahead and set up our first show. So we'll go to sequential and we're going to press plus. Very simple here, and if you have any issues with this, sometimes I've found that just restarting this helps uh, that text to come out right. I don't know why it does that, but that's okay. Because here it says action sequence, then you go ahead and find your sequence, pick out your, your sequence, only pick one at a time here, and then you can go add more. Just same process, creating the new one, selecting the sequence, creating the new one, selecting a sequence again. And we're good to go. For your basic shows, this is really all that you're going to need to do. And so now we're going to go ahead and press OK. And then press Close. Now that we've created our show, it's time to attach that show to a schedule. So we'll go ahead and get into the schedulers and to schedule. Simply add a new show, like I've got my Christmas 2018 here, but I'm going to add a new show. We select our show, so we I could have done either show file here, either schedule, enable or disable, and then set the start and stop times at whatever you'd like. Days of the week, start time and end time. It's really that simple. It's based on your, your computer's clock, so make sure you've got that set right, and then press OK. And then as long as you've got everything running, you go under schedule here, it's enabled, it's going to let you know by clicking on that scheduler enabled button that it's going to enable it right here and you're going to get the scheduler status that pops up. Now in the future, even if you just start up the computer from nothing, what I did was I set my computer to automatically log in. I looked up how to do that in Windows 10. It's pretty simple to do. And then I set Vixen to start automatically uh, as well. That's something that's easy to find for the latest version of Windows or Mac, uh, whichever you're using. And then I just set that to all startups so that if my computer restarted, if we had a power outage, anything like that, I could just restart it. It launches this, then tells you where the next show is, and you're off to the races to make a great Christmas light show.